Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Leo Chen of Love & Taste Style. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a special video tribute to Kobe Bryant. If you guys didn't know, I'm a huge, huge Kobe Bryant fan. I've been a big fan of his since I was in elementary school watching Kobe and Shaq. And I followed his career ever since throughout all these years. And Kobe Bryant, like to many, many others around the world, has been such a huge inspiration, such a huge motivation for me. Um, and it's just really sad. It's just really, really sad what happened. And, but yeah, I want to take this opportunity, take this video to honor him, to pay tribute to him, and to show you guys my collection of Kobe Bryant that I had over the years. And now it's really become more than just memories. You know, for me over the years, I wanted to collect all these things to celebrate, to honor, and to obviously show how much I like Kobe Bryant as my favorite player. But now it's really become more than just like a memory thing. It's, uh, it's, it's just a big tribute. So I wanna make this video to pay tribute to Kobe Bryant with my jersey collection and my sneaker collection. So first I'm gonna go through all the sneakers I've collected over the years. I did used to collect a lot during my college years because that's when I was playing a lot and that's when Kobe came out with the four, five, and six. So I really love those, got a lot of colors, but I did end up selling a bunch of those just cause you know I didn't have room for all of them but I keep all the ones that are really special to me. First up is the Nike Kobe 1. Now this is a really special pair because this is the exact same colorway as the 81 point game. And I just remember that game, like I was in high school and my friends was like, did you see Kobe score 81 points? I'm like, what are you talking about? That's crazy. Did you mean 18 points? No, 81 points. I'm really glad I got this pair when it first came out because a lot of the sneakers now, the prices have jump sky high um so i'm glad that you know i from day one i've been there supporting him and i grabbed it as soon as i can next up is the kobe 4 carping dm this is the kobe 4 when um he was just really changing the game of basketball sneakers with the low cut silhouette and i remember when these first came out i missed out on them and they were reselling for a really high price so i'm glad that nike basketball recently came back out with these last year and I was able to finally get this special, special colorway. This is the first time I've heard the term carpe diem, and that meant seize the day. Um, just take advantage of the opportunity you have today. Don't wait for tomorrow. And so this really stuck with me, especially during the college years to really work hard. And that reminds me of Kobe's mentality, like working hard, putting in the work and practice, um, trying to be the best he can. And of course, this is the classic Lakers colorway with the purple and gold. And you have details of like the snake skin in the back here with number 24. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful sneaker. Definitely one of my favorites. For the next pair, this is another pair of Kobe Forward. This is definitely my favorite of all of them. And it's still in the original box. This is the Kobe 4 Finals MVP sneaker. Now I haven't worn these in years. There's still dust on them because I've just been keeping it in the box. Um, but this one, if you guys were following Kobe Bryant, this is when he won his fourth championship. So this special edition, he was actually wearing this during the finals as well. This was against the Orlando Magic. And um, yeah, I just love the detail around this entire pair. I had all, all his stats during the regular season, like 30.4 points per game and like assists, rebounds, all the different stats. And it says like MVP on the back. MVP on the tongue. Moving on to the Kobe 5s. This is the Chaos Joker Edition. So this is actually from the original release pair from 10 years ago. It's funny when you see the new one release again because I still have the original one sitting at home. Um, this was another really special pair at the time because the color blocking was just really, really beautiful for a pair of basketball sneakers. So I really, really love this color because it's so different from a lot of sneakers out there you have the highlighter green you have this like color changing goes from like purple to navy and then the laces are like purple with orange and then you got red splatter paint and then on the bottom is this highlighter green so it is chaotic and it's so many different color but yet everything works so well together this is another special championship colorway this is when Kobe Bryant got his fifth championship ring and he was wearing this special colorway during the opening night championship ceremony. So another really special pair. And this time they went again with this like 
print all over to celebrate the championship. So you got like five all over to print in different styles, like the number five, Roman numeral five. So really, really cool pair. And then you have this like ombre color effect going from purple to gold. Another special pair of sneakers that you didn't really see at the time. Just talking about the Kobe 5 brings back a lot of good memories because that's when he was winning the championships again. And these were, are and still is some of the best basketball sneakers ever made. Um, so I think I had like, honestly, like half the colorways that were released just because I really loved each color. Um, yeah, and I, and I played basketball in a lot of those colors. So a lot of them, and then like I beating them up so much, I couldn't wear them anymore. And so I'm really glad I was able to still keep some of the special pairs with me in my collection. Next up is the Nike Kobe 6. So this Kobe 6 is really different and special. As you can see, it's not even a Lakers colorway. This is a red and white color for the All-Star game back in 2011. And I really like these because this is the game when he won his last NBA All-Star MVP. And uh, I mean, it's a beautiful shoes anyway. Like the design of it is kind of like this like snake skin design um, and the color is special you know, with the red and the white. It's a really sharp look on the court. And um, yeah, like there's also really cool. They added these kind of material. It's kind of like, it reminds me of like a, a trading card. So when you like turn it, the graphic changes. And up on the tongue, it's like the Western All-Star graphic for that year. Um, but yeah, it's a, another special one because he won MVP in this pair of sneaker. And it's also a really cool basketball sneaker that I did get to play basketball in. Next is the Kobe Nike 8 Python Edition. This one I specifically got just for myself to play basketball in. And I love that Kobe, you know, at this point in his career, he is known as the Black Mamba. He put in this like attack mentality in his design. And so this pair has that like snake skin looking style. Um, the color also kind of looks like a camel colorway. So it has this like green, the black, the grays in there. And it's like a really sharp red. And red is actually one of my favorite colors. So this pair I got, you know, to honor Kobe Bryant to also play like Kobe Bryant um, and this is my pair of Kobe 8. Last but not least for the Kobe sneakers, this is the Kobe 11 Mamba Day. For his last game ever in the NBA, this release on April 13, 2016. Um, that's his last game and Nike released this special colorway on his last day, allowing people to make their own. So this is actually a special edition Nike 11 Mamba Day ID. So on that limited release, people are able to make their own pair. I was able to get this brand new off of eBay years ago because obviously it's a very special pair. I mean, just what a special way to send off Kobe Bryant on his last game ever. On this pair, on the design, you can really see like number 24 in the front. And then on the side, there is 4, 13, 16, obviously for the last game, his number. And then there's numbers like 81 for his 81 point. Uh, overall, just such a beautiful, special color pair of sneakers that um, I'm really glad I have in my collection to pay tribute and to remember him by. All right, so that was all the sneakers. Now I'm gonna move on to my jersey collection. This first one up is a champion jersey. And this one is actually really cool because it's actually a reversible. Back in the day when Kobe just started in the NBA, champion was the big brand that made all the NBA apparel. So I really, really like this one because obviously it's like, throwback vintage from back in the day. And then you just reverse it and you got the purple colorway on the back. And yeah, you got the classic number eight old school Lakers jersey with Kobe. Next up, sticking to number eight, this is the Minneapolis Lakers jersey. This one really caught my attention because number one is a throwback to the Minneapolis days back in Minnesota. And so the baby blue and the gold colors is beautiful. And Kobe actually wore this during his third championship parade. So I just love that he was wearing this to celebrate his third championship with Shaq. And so I really, really like this one. Another famous number eight jersey is the white Lakers home colorway. And this is for the 81 point game. This was actually a really hard jersey to find on the internet. Uh, I finally got one off eBay that was kind of my size in the Nike Swingman. 
Um, but yeah, this is one of the most iconic ones, I think, uh, especially during his time as number eight, 81 points. Um, don't have to say anymore. So it was really nice to have the jersey and the sneakers to really remember Kobe by. Moving on, we're going to number 10. This is when Kobe Bryant wore number 10 for the Team USA. So this jersey is actually from USA Basketball in 2007. And this is when they were, I think, qualifying for the Olympics in 2008. So this was the year before. And yeah, I really like this white jersey. I think this is the one where Kobe hit the game winner over Tayshaun Prince and like the warm-up game or something like that. Uh, yeah, on the back you got number 10, Kobe Bryant and the USA logo. And what's funny is that um, I still got the tags on this guy, uh, the original tags on USA Basketball. And this was $80, but it was on sale for 20, like on the sales tag. So, I mean, it's just another special piece to remember Kobe Bryant by. Next, we have the Redeem Team 2008 Kobe Bryant number 10 jersey. This jersey, this team, the moments like when you hit the three pointers to win the game, um, it's just so special. You know, Kobe Bryant wore number 10 because he loved soccer and in soccer, usually number 10 is like the team captain. And so he took this number and he took that role. Yeah, this is part of the United We Rise Nike campaign. This is definitely one of the jerseys that I wore a lot, a lot in the summertime, uh, especially when I was training for USA cheering for the Olympics. Um, but at the same time, you know, like Kobe really gave me such a big sense of pride as a American, as a US citizen. And to have a jersey like this where I'm cheering for him and for the country. And uh, yeah, it's just a really special one. Moving on to number 24. I have the Kobe Bryant jerseys and his new number and also the yellow home colorway. As you can see, I still have all the tags on them. Um, just never worn them. It's just really always been part of my collection. Here's the purple colorway. Of course, there's a lot of memories in these colors as number 24. That's when, you know, he was going up against uh, Orlando Magic, the Celtics um, to win the championship. So all these, like the, the modern one, I would say like the 24, um, they're all really just like classic and special. Yeah, so when I got those jerseys, they were all on sale and they also allowed you to do um, customization. So this is the first time I ever got myself a jersey for myself. So, you know, my last name is Chan. So I want to pick seven because that's my favorite number. Also, is right next to Kobe's number eight. And yeah, this is uh, another special one that, you know, goes with everything. More on the special number 24 jerseys. This is the All-Star game from 2007. And this is the game when he won All-Star MVP. And that's why I really like this one. I want to pick it up. This game was in Las Vegas. So they had a lot of design elements that reminds you of Vegas. So on the side and on the logo, you see like the diamond and cards. And on the back, you know, got number 24, got the Lakers logo on the top. Um, this is not even my size, but I saw this on eBay. I had to get it just to remember his all-star MVP. Another special all-star jersey. This one is from 2009 All-Star Game, and this is another game where he won All-Star MVP. So that's why I really want to pick it up. Uh, I still have the tags on here. Um, yeah, Phoenix 2009. And the design is to show you guys like the desert heat, I believe, like the red to the orange um, kind of shows you like heating up like in Phoenix in the West. And so uh, really nice, simple colorway. And of course on the back, number 24, Bryant on the bottom instead, and the Lakers logo at the top. Um, this is uh, another one that uh, you know I wanted to add to my collection because he won All-Star MVP. Last but not least, I also have these t-shirts. Um, this is from like the Nike uh, puppet commercial back in the day with LeBron James, Kobe and LeBron. And this is like the puppet hands with the four rings. So I remember buying this. So that's really cool to look back at it. And then another one, this is, um, again, I think with the puppet hands, this is making out the LA sign. And you have number 24. And this is to match, I believe, the Kobe 5, the chaos. Um, yeah. So since filming the first part of the video of my Kobe Bryant collection, I've added a few more items. I just got back from the NBA All-Star Weekend and it was just so special. I had the opportunity to honor Kobe Bryant in my way and I did it 
each day of the All-Star Weekend wearing different Kobe Bryant inspired jerseys. Here are some of the outfits that I did. For the first day, I wanted to honor just him overall and also an outfit that's similar to his outfit against Michael Jordan in the All-Star Game 2003. And then the second one was an honor to his slam dunk contest with the old number eight. And then the last outfit for the All-Star Game, I went with the 2011 MVP jersey, which is amazing timing because that's when they decided to rename the MVP award to the Kobe Bryant All-Star MVP award. And so that was just really special to have that jersey with me. Speaking of that jersey, I have it here with me. This is a new edition I just picked up right before the All-Star Game. This is the All-Star Game jersey from 2011, and this is the last game that Kobe Bryant won MVP. And this is the one where he got his fourth MVP. As you can see, this is really special. This is the picture that, you know, you see Kobe over and over holding his last All-Star MVP trophy. And yeah, this is another really special one. And on the back here, you have all the stars from the years he's been uh, all-star and then bottom got a really cool graphic with his name on the bottom i mean this has really just become such an iconic jersey because the last mvp that he won in another recent pickup i found is these kobe bryant nike id and this is actually the pair that they had special for his Jersey retirement. So for the back of the Nike Air Force, you have number eight and number 24. Not only is it special because these are obviously the numbers that he wore, but these are both numbers that the Lakers retire during his Jersey retirement. So Nike released this special Nike ID edition for Kobe Bryant for his Jersey retirement. And then on the tongue here, you have like eight stars on the tab. All in all, a really nice clean pair to honor Kobe Bryant with this premium Air Force One. And then if you guys are trying to buy Kobe Bryant stuff the past few weeks, it's been crazy, like everything has been sold out. I was very lucky enough to find this Mitchell and Ness piece that I really, really like. I found this for retail. This is the special collaboration with Clot, and it's overall like this like sweater knit material, but it pays homage to Kobe Bryant from the 96 and 97 season, and it really pays homage to like the old school look, and it's got this like huge Brian name on the back. Um, so this one is just really special. I think you don't really see this kind of piece really that much anymore. It kind of reminds you just like how long and how special his career has been. Looking back at such a retro style piece like this one. You know, just putting this on kind of feels like you are Kobe Bryant. You can do anything. I think putting this on just feels like you're him um, with his name on the back. So this is another piece I picked up recently that's really special. Another pair of shoes that I've been looking for for a while now and finally found a pair in my size. This is the USA Olympic Mamba Edition Hyper Dunks. There's a few different versions of this, the USA colorway, the Hyper Dunk that he was wearing during the Olympics. This is actually the exact same version that he was wearing during the games. So you can see the pattern and style is different. It has like this snake design all over the top here reminding us, you know, this is the black mamba with the snake on the shoes. And then what's really cool is that it has like the number 10 on the side here. And this was his jersey number. Number 10 is like the captain number in soccer. So he was wearing that on his jersey and now it's also on the sneaker. So if you remember that iconic three point shot against Spain to win the gold medal, it was this pair of sneaker. So finally, finally picked this style up. And you know, this is just another special piece to add to my memory of Kobe Bryant to one of those amazing great moments in his career. Last but not least, there's a lot of special magazines honoring Kobe Bryant. There's a Time Magazine here. There is the Sports Illustrated, ESPN. There's a special Kobe edition here. There's the LA Times. And then there was a special Sports Illustrated that was only during the All-Star Weekend in Chicago. And you know, just being there for the tribute of the All-Star Game was just incredible and amazing. And just feel the whole crowd chanting Kobe. Um, all the amazing tributes was just really special. Hope you guys enjoyed this video honoring Kobe Bryant and paying tribute to his work, his life, and obviously like his impact to all of us around the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this kind of brings back memories of Kobe Bryant and just think about these moments that these things represent and these things remind us of him. Um, but yeah, I wanna end this video with a 24 second 
moment of silence tribute um, along with some of my favorite moments with Kobe throughout the year.